Hey YouTube, another retro team, another season high ELO, uh, 3152. And you look at the team and it's like, whoa, this team is triple weak to ice. Yes, but I'm not hunting for ice. I'm not worried about ice, I'm worried about Oranguru. Uh, so if you watch my videos yesterday, you will see that I was like, Oranguru this, Oranguru that. Um, looked up the PV poke matchups and saw that like Oranguru has like, even the losses are in like the 350 range, which means it loses, but it still chips so much. So I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to hunt this thing with three of the hardest Pokemon. So the hardest Pokemon on the list were Dragonair, Jumpluff, Superior. And I was like, okay, why is that Why is that there? And that's there because what makes a Ranguru tricky is not only is the confusion not resisted by pretty much anything in this meta, um, being able to boost it with Trailblaze and then just, it's got bulk, and then just boost it with Trailblaze um, helps you buff it up. So you have three Pokemon that resist Trailblaze. Dragonair, Jumpluff, Superior. So if you resist the Trailblaze, they're not going to throw the Trailblaze, so they're not going to buff their Confusions, which means that you're more likely to beat those matchups. So that is why the team works. Um, is Ice a problem? Yes, I think I went against a Dugong and lost, but I did not play it great. So let's take a look at the battles. I ran to a lot of Orangaroos. So you just stay in this matchup. Um, I'm going to throw the Aqua Tail for some chip here. The Dragonair matchup is the worst because it is very glassy so yes the dragon breaths and aqua tails are adding up but as you can see here it is uh takes a lot of damage and uh, will go down in the zero shield which is fine just come jump off and it is a dr uh, gudra so immediately i start thinking okay i just saw a narangaru with confusion and now i see a gudra as a safe swap dragon i gotta start shielding because i would expect this to be like a triple fast move team right? Oranguru, Confusion user, you have you have a Dragon Breath here, Draco, so super spicy moveset. Uh, so I, yeah, I would expect them to be like another Dragon or fast move damage Pokemon in the back here. So uh, I will shield that up, just spam these Aerial Aces, take this out. Uh, both of these can answer Oranguru, right? And out comes a Kecleon, and that Kecleon has sucker punch so again another kind of like fast move pokemon uh and then it also has aerial so that's kind of tricky here uh so superior is bulky but i really don't want to take this move here if i don't have to so one frenzy um i would expect there to be a catch oop my, my camera cut out oh well hopefully it'll kick back in if not you guys just listen to my voice anyways uh i kind of expected the catch did not fall for it. Uh, we do CMP here, and I thought like, oh no, CMP against a um, aerial ace is not the best option for me here. But do manage to live. Superior has that tank, uh, and then get off the frenzy. Not enough to take out. That was actually quite surprising that it did not take out. Uh, but do manage to take the win there. Oh look, an Oranguru. This time they get out into Dugong, and I'm like, okay, I cannot get out. I just need to stay in. So I will stay in. Um, and just play this matchup out knowing that um, I have two answers that can kind of answer it in the back anyways, right? So do get the body slam off here because I want to shield. I shield it because I like uh, I don't really have a good matchup in the back two can kind of take this. So let's just let let's just flip this dugong matchup. They'll come in with the Rangaroo. I can get him with jump off, right? Jump off has some more bulk and double resist and out comes a dense bar. So I a little slow on the I, I was debating there. I was like, maybe I should go energy ball um and then get out into the superior, but I decided to just do the worst combo, which is like take super effective rollouts and then come in and take the charge move on superior. So down a shield um puts me in a kind of weird spot. So they now know that the superior frenzy plant is gonna be the hardest hitting one here. So they sh are shielding up the moves here. So they shield up the first one. Um, I think they shield up this one too and then kind of try and like, not snipe, but um, they're going to get another one off here. I, I know I need to land a Frenzy to have a chance here, but I know they're also just going to, the switch clock is up. They're going to come in here soon. And there is the soon. So now they got two fuller health Pokemon um, against my really low superior but decent with 
jump off. But of course, jump off takes super effective from the rollouts and rock slides. So this puts me in a kind of weird spot. Um, and we end up CMP in here, I think, which is not great. Uh, I should have either <laughs> known who wants CMP or like farmed up a bit so I could have a little more energy coming out because now I'm trying to get out. And by the time I do get out, they already have a move. I don't think Frenzy takes up from this range anyway, so it would have been tough, but yeah. I think I think my just delays of what should I do, what should I do, cost me that match up there. Annihilate is okay, and they come into Dunsparce, and again, uh, I think I chip here, and then do I do the count to three and catch on the superior here? One, two, three, catch. Yeah. So this is a just easy, and this is in the 3100s and people still make this mistake. I've gone over multiple times that people, there's no real reason to do this. It's a lot of time. It's just, well, the reason here to do that is because of for fast move timing, um, doing like, um, the, yeah, well, actually it was a one turn move. So it wasn't even fast move timing there, but a lot of people like to kind of subconsciously just do one fast move and then throw the charge move. And I've, I've shown that multiple times and here we are in the 3100s. People did that as well. Uh, for those of you who are wondering why I threw the frenzy plant as opposed to the super effective area lace, a neutral frenzy plant still hits harder than a super effective area lace. Cause area lace is a really bad move. Non-stab and frenzy plant is a nuke, not a nuke, but it's a pretty hard hitting move. Um, so I grabbed a shield come in here, absorb that frenzy, uh, sorry, that close combat resisted. Uh, going to stay in here just because I'm almost out of move and I can chip. So going to chip and see what I decide to do here. Oh yeah, I'm staying in here basically because the Annihilate just dumped energy and I'm, it's basically in fat, uh, Dragon Breath range. So now it's just, uh, running with two shield Dragonair just out Dragon Breath your opponent. So they have a ton of energy here, but that is fine with by me. I've got some shields. Dragon Breath will take out here. Dragon Breath will take out what is left on the Annihilate for the win. I hate the Legend Pose this season. It's so dumb. Oranguru, right? I think I saw like four Orangurus in my first five matchups and I lost the one, I lost the matchup with Dugong and I won every other match. <laughs> so uh, Brutal Swing hits and then they get into Arc to Backs. So I'm like, okay, let's just chip with the body slam here. These dragon breaths are obviously adding up on both of our ends, but good chip, which now is good because this is like now fairy wind aerial lace range. Grass is both res grass is resisted by dragon in the back, so being able to chip it is good. I know it has icy wind, and I'm double weak to uh, ice, so I will 100% shield that move up. I'm at two aerial laces, so going to throw one here, take it out. That's good. Um, out comes the Oranguru and I instant swap into superior expecting a dragon, right? Again, you should be able to read that. This is a Oranguru lead, fast move damage, arc to backs, double dragon strategy is one that I've already covered in the top teams. So you need to just be able to read these teams, uh, which is why I saved jump off because I figured they had a second dragon in the back. And if I left superior against that dragon, I would have a tough time. So that's why I instant swapped into superior. And they are not shielding, which is interesting, uh, which means they are now fast move down range. They're going to try to shield Oranguru, which is not a bad strategy, but I'm loaded. And now they get scared. Never bait, except for me when I'm going to bait here twice and grab both shields and then take them out with an energy ball. So shield up a brutal swing, um, get to a second aerial ace bait, and they shield this one up too. And then I get to an energy ball and yes, fast move timing was off there. I don't know how much energy they have, so I just need to throw it, um, and throw it for the win. Gligar, which is like, Ooh, uh, okay. Double week in the back two flying. So I kind of just need to stay in this matchup. Um, yes, you are seeing them get four fast moves in for free while my game lags for no reason after I click the button. No, I'm not playing on the bus. I'm playing right, right at home. And a Ferret, uh, we've seen this on uh, Yonkis' channel. This is uh, a smart pick, actually, from the fact that 
there are so many psychics out there and it runs sucker punch so i may use it on a team um moving forward i think it is actually a smart pick in this meta uh, but there are still fighters out there and stuff like that so you you run the risk of just getting into trouble here um Aerialis will take it out. Gligar comes back in. I'm going to shield because I do have a move too. So yes, I'll get a shield from me, but I will get the shield right back. Or chip them very low. Um, and then I think I come... Yeah, come superior right away. And they have an Oranguru and they top left because they know I got an answer to it. Because that is how this team is built. Um, Annihilate on the lead. So as you can see... I don't often, for having double grass in the back, I don't often try to pull out something. Right? You are double weak to flying in the back. You're double weak to ice in the back. Double weak to fire in the back. Um, but oftentimes, I am not pulling anything out. You do run the risk that you just get... The thing is, if it's going to be an ice Pokemon, um, you know, Sand Slash is banned. So really, your other options are like Dugong and Walrein. So you have like an okay shot anyways, because you can also hit super effective. But yes, if you're going to run a, tr a line like this, you will run the risk of just getting actually killed. Um, so just be aware of that. It's a very risky strategy. It works because this is what, now the 6th or 7th matchup, and we have seen 6 or 7 Orangaroos already. Um, why is my... Oh, because it's not it. For those of you who are just listening in and being like, what is he talking about and why did it suddenly go quiet? I look down and my um, battery's low. And it's because I don't actually have it freaking plugged in. So I just plugged it in. Um, okay, get off the air release here, take out the Annihilate. What do we have left? We have a Licky Licky. Which this thing is... Um, spammy and it's even worse when you fast move time like garbage there so we get off a frenzy I think I try and like catch here or come in and try and chip here and I they CMP me and their rollout is a fast energy charging move so I'm gonna go down here so they get to another move here and I'll be taken out oh look an Oranguru. So <laughs> we've seen this multiple times. Um, not even getting to my move because the game lagged on me a ton. Uh, which is why I'm playing now. Like I'm 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 playing now for two reasons. One, I need content. Um, two, I had realized that I had sat on the fourth out of five battle pages forever, even though I had it complete. And so I just claimed all of them, recognizing that I still need 100 more wins to get that two rare candies and elite charged, elite TM. I don't know if I forget if it's charged or fast. Um, so I need to get 100 more wins in the next week, <laughs> which is why you're you're sometimes seeing it pop up because I've, I've now I'm doing that. So I will be playing a decent amount over the next week to try to finish that and get some content for you guys. But yes, please still submit because I'll showcase the subscribers member this afternoon um instant swap to orangaroo because i'm not going to get farmed down here will shield expecting another fast move team here and it is a charge bug so this is i still probably should go frenzy here because of what i said that a uh, resisted frenzy probably still does more than an aerial ace but aerial ace is quicker i want to just try and chip it a little bit see what i can do with what's left here um yeah, this one I should be throwing frenzy because I'm not. I'm only gonna get to one move here, so I definitely should take the harder hitting move, unless I can like get out. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get out, air lace it with the jump off, jumping around here. That 50 second timer helpful here to chip here, and now they can farm me down. But now I got two Pokemon that resist the electric, so they have to throw, and out comes a Rangaroo to take me out. But that allows me to fast move them down and come out with a move to win CMP. So in comes the Dragonair. Fast move damage down, have an Aqua Tail or Body Slam coming out. Aqua Tail, neutral, charge a bug, doesn't have a lot of health left. We'll take it out here. 
Gligar again. I'm guessing some content creator put out Gligar because this is the second time I saw Gligar. Now Gligar does have, as you can see by the animation, Fury Cutter, which is bug. And again, it could just be a Fury Cutter Night Slash, right? So that is a direct hunt for Oranguru. Bug super effective, Night Slash super effective. And they come in with uh, Licky Licky. So coming in with Superior here, going to shield up a move because I think it could be a Shadow Ball and it would chip. Um, and knowing that the rolls aren't doing a ton and I could just farm a ton, get to the Frenzy. This will take out if I remember. So that's a ton of damage. And I have energy, which is a huge combo. And because I have so much energy, I know I'm pretty safe baiting here. So do grab a shield and then I instant swap here, basically just to force energy uh, as a sacrifice. So I do this sometimes. So I guess I should like, I'm going to stop and explain this, what I just did there, because I often say to subscribers who want to submit battles, you're jumping around too much. You don't need to do that and stuff like that. When I jump around, there is with a reason in mind, not saying that you don't have a reason in mind when you jump around. But I think the reasons you may have, when I may have, are different. Basically, I am identifying my win cons as superior and jump off and superior has energy. I don't want to take a move from Gligar on my superior. So basically, I am jumping into Dragonair. Dragonair has enough fast move damage and a super effective Aqua Tail against Gligar that they are going to have to sooner than not dump that energy which means that Dragonair is basically a sacrifice, still does some chip damage, puts it low enough that can be an aerial ace range, and keeps my win cons and what I think is superior and uh, jump bluff alive. So that is the plan. That is why I did it. So aerial ace... And it is a freaking Aurorus in the back. So this is this is this is what happens, right? You see, you don't pull out an ice, you play out the lead, or you're triple weak to ice anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, and then you just get hit with a nice type Pokemon. So I think this is the last match. Jump Bluff uh, against Dunsparce. Getting a bit of a... I thought they would leg out there because usually when you get that like 5 to 10 seconds speed by legging out... Hi, camera. Bye, camera. Um, usually when you sort of leg out, have that weird like spin stop there, it's because one of you have legged out, but they are right back in it. So um, I am just trying to chip as much as I can with Jump Bluff in what is generally a bad matchup. Super effective Rollout, Super effective Rock Slide, and they double shield, which is crazy to me. Um, so if they take me out, okay. But even if they don't take me out, I can actually chip this. They don't. And they have to go back to back here. So that's, although I thought I threw it, but okay. They have to go back to back here, which is great because they are dry. So now I can just come and try and fast move down with the Dragon Breaths. And they eventually give up switch which is thinking that they maybe already pulled out my grass and who's stupid enough to run double grass with a dragon that's triple weak to ice this guy's stupid enough so take a resisted earth power going to commit to the full farm down um not worried about a non-stab body slam care much more about coming out with two moves so it is a clawed sire in the back so these are still neutral frenzies so here comes one frenzy does not do much. Class is so tanky. Here comes a second Frenzy. And at this point, it'll put it within Dragon Breath Aqua Tail range. So we're not letting you farm this. We are coming in and sniping immediately. Dragon Breath Aqua Tail. Chipping it. Oh, nope. Taking it out. So I got Shield Advantage. And they have like no health left on the Stun Sparse. That was a 3-2. I think I went 7-3 with this team as well. 31-52 for the... 
18th time in 20 Pokemon a Morpeko is my freaking uh, thing. But 3152, that is where we're at. Um, yeah, that is where we are at. So that is it. <laughs> I was like, what am I, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. That's it. 3152, highest, highest ELO this season. Honestly, this may be my highest ELO in a few seasons. Um, because I generally for the last few seasons when I've hit legend, I've kind of just like stopped. Uh, but this is probably my highest ELO. The season is not my highest ever. I've definitely gotten up to like the 3300s before. Um, but yeah, we're actually within striking distance. It's probably up to like 3200-ish now. But I checked the other day and the bottom of the leaderboard was 3189. So it's probably at like 3200 something now. But we're in striking distance, so we can potentially hit there by the end of the season if we want. I don't know if I want though. I'm gonna need a lot of your videos if that's the case because the wait times up there are brutal. Anyways, that is it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.